And welcome back, this is Beller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary, and oh my god, what am I doing with my SCVs? Oh, I am the Red Terran, um, in the north, up against Borealis in the east. He is the Blue Terran, who probably did a lot better than me at microing his SCVs to start the game, uh, but it doesn't really show. Actually, I it, no, there we go, he, he does have a slight lead on that. Um, uh, the map is a uh, scrap station. Uh, this, yeah, the, that SUV thing really threw me off. Wow, that was bad. Uh, hopefully he doesn't go for any kind of rush. Not that it would be that effective on this map. But, um, I didn't, uh, that little th thing there, it didn't change my strategies. Because it is such a long map that it usually goes to at least the 9-10 minute mark before even the first attack gets to your front door unless of course he starts going for harassment. Um, once again nothing out of the ordinary from either player here. He is getting an early refinery actually now that I mention it. Let's look at that here. Yeah refinery before anything else is built besides the supply depot. No barracks, nothing, just, uh, just, just, uh, the refinery. Now just getting the barracks, he's completely out APMing me. Um, of course I don't do anything in the early game, not, but it doesn't really show. I believe my opening is just about as strong as everybody else's, even though I have 13 APM and some others have 300. It's just not, doesn't do anything in the early game. But what are we producing? So he's getting the barracks. Uh, mine just finished. I'm sure his is a little later than mine. It is. But he is getting... He's not even fully saturating the refinery. So one early SCV going on the refinery. Mine is up and fully saturated now. And getting an orbital command. He instead is training an SCV. And queuing him up like nobody's business. I'm not sure what this is. Going for a second barracks. So are we going to be seeing heavy infantry? Not sure. And there we go. Orbital command out. Mule on the ground. Easily taking the lead now in <laughs> everything. Look at that. In income. Just, just plain income. Taking the lead. Thanks to that mule. Even though he has more harvesters than me because he oh, just started, well, not just started, but he is getting the orbital command out now. So I'm starting to get a little bit further on the harvester count. And he's going for a second refinery early. Uh, he still hasn't fully saturated the first refinery. Not sure why he's going for the second one now. But that orbital command did finish. He did not notice yet, though. There we go. And down comes the mule. As a third factory goes up, he is getting... Uh, reactors on both of his barracks uh, so we should be expecting a medevac drop that'd be my guess um, I always think that that if I get the three barracks right and then just get one ref one factory and then straight into two starports and then start doing a medevac drops into his base that would be a great strategy on this map but uh, to be honest it, um, I usually think to attack before then. And this is a very interesting block off here. Five supply depots, and they're the only ones that he has right now. So his entire supply is on his ramp. Let's face it, that's a bad place for him. If I hang out my. If I put my army right here at the bottom of the ramp and start attacking those supply depots. And I start taking all of them out. Let's say I take out all five. He's completely supply locked. And it'll take him a long time to get out of that. Uh, don't don't put all your supply depots there. Um, especially when you're playing a mirror matchup like this. You know, my marines are going to have the same range as his. Even if he positions him right at the edge of the supply depot, I can... Uh, hit the supply depots without him being able to attack me. Don't put your supply depots there. 
I'm keeping a supply depot here uh, just to keep track of any air harassment. Uh, not that I fear it yet. It's only the seven minute mark right on the dot. So I'm not expecting... Oh, what am I doing here? Um, even as I was building this, I was iffy on the placement of this. I put the refinery way out here. Or the, the engineering bay way out here because I didn't want him to scan it. That was the, the sole purpose of that as I built it. But then as I built it, I realized, hey, you know, if he went for any kind of medevac drops or anything like that, he would take up my refinery. I'd be unable to build any further uh, missile turrets than the ones I already had up. So uh, I'm iffy on the, on the placement there. I would love a supply depot out there instead of the engineering bay. But I did want to hide the tech, and that was the reasoning for that. And here he's sending his army down to check out the gold expansion here. I did not go there. I hardly ever think to go there. Um, but I hardly see anybody check if this is the first time that I can recall. So maybe it's a good idea to go there. And here goes my army out now. Uh, let's look at the, the unit count. I like that one better. I do have more. Yes, I do have more Marauders than him. And of course he moved. He did an attack move like I did. So even though my Marines went past everybody, these Marauders will easily take everybody else out thanks to the stim pack. And of course I missed the SCV that went down here. He is going to be going for the gold. Looks like he's thinking about going for an expansion there. And yes, there it is. And oh, you want to go? Let's see. Oh, easily taken out here. The stim was way too late for him. Well over half half of his army died before uh, uh, that stim went down. So I'll easily clean this up. And once again, hey, if he's got all these supply depots here, my first time seeing the base, I'll take them out and supply log him. Let's keep an eye on that. I did take out his army, so he does have a lower uh, supply count than he should, but look at that. Without ever ste stepping a foot in his base, I have supply locked him by six. Now, keep it in track of that, he, you know, 29 of his are SCVs. He's now got more SCVs than he's got supply. He can no longer build anything for, let's face it, forever. So I'm sending reinforcements in, because I assume these guys are going to die. Uh, no, that Marauder is a hero. He's still stimmed up, taking out the last supply depot. And doesn't look like he built... No, one did go up somewhere. There it is, inside the base, finally. But it is far too late. That is game. Uh, yeah, not the best opponent, I'll admit. Not the best game, also, I'll admit. But, some important lessons here. Uh, don't build your supply depots <laughs> along the ramp as a block off. Um, I didn't, I don't think, no, I didn't even block off here. Uh, I put that barracks there just to make sure, uh, that he doesn't do any sneaky things and try to put, like, a bunker here or anything like that. So I didn't even block off. Uh, don't go for five racks. Good lord, what is that? Uh, keep an eye on your mules. Don't, uh, you know... Don't quit on that. He could have used a couple more SCVs, uh, but the mules would have helped out a lot. And, um, wow, don't go for the refinery first. Get 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 this stuff up first, because look, he's got six, almost 600, um, 600 in gas that he did not spend. Uh, I, of course, have more, but that's because I uh, knew the game was over. So, there was the game. Uh, not the best, I'll admit, but... You know, gotta get you guys something. So, uh, hope you laughed, hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Bye.